Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I got the first ever 6x6 Bronco from Apocalypse Manufacturing, and they called it the Dark Horse. As you can see by the emblem in the back, even the horse has six legs, which I found hilarious, but I really like that touch. I especially love these rims on trucks. They just give it a nice little pop. I just love the overall look of it. The fenders covered in Kevlar, steel bumpers also covered in Kevlar, but the rest very Bronco-ish for the simple fact, let the world know, is the first ever 6x6 Bronco. One thing that I love about Apocalypse is they're not like other companies that only give you renders. With them, they don't accept any deposits until they show you the real thing. So I'm sorry, Hennessy. I'm sorry for all those other companies. All you guys' pictures, I got the real deal here. So you guys might be wondering, is it really six by six or is it just a free axle? That's diff lock. So before I go in this truck, I wanna let you guys know, it's not really a full blown review because I don't have much time with this truck. It's more of a first look, what Apocalypse's new project looks like and their future plans with it. So the first thing that becomes very apparent when you're driving is if you know a Jeep Wrangler, you already know the Bronco. Similar layout, similar design. The only difference between this one and I would say the Wrangler is it's slightly more refined. So again, the interior is very Bronco, not much was changed, but they did change the leather to the King Ranch option, which is the highest trim that Ford offers. But the funny part is when you're sitting in this, you feel like a cowboy. Like I'm about to go to a ranch, I don't know, herd some cattle, do some cowboy stuff. You still have the standard V6 turbocharged engine, but they tuned it to 400 horsepower. It is enough power for you to move this car around, have some fun with it, but I can't wait for that Coyote upgrade. So it's gonna be a V8 with 700 horsepower. Driving this type of vehicle, it's almost taboo to drive on the street. You wanna run over cars, you wanna go over mountains, you wanna rock climb. This is really what you want to do with a vehicle like this. And I really wish I could do it for you guys. But unfortunately, they're going to auction this car off at the Baron Jackson show. So it needs to be obviously in pristine condition. So I can't do any of that kind of stuff for you. But it'd be interesting to see how much they sell it for. Because regular Broncos that are customized right now are going for 200 grand. So this easily a quarter of a million and up. You get so much attention and like validation from strangers for no apparent reason. It's hilarious. You're driving, people record it to give you a thumbs up. You don't get that with Lamborghinis, you know? With Lamborghinis, it's more like hateful looks, you know? Everyone envies you. Here, everyone's like, wow, good for you. And that's like a very strange thing to me. You don't normally get that with high-end cars. People will allow you to cut them off. Nobody, nobody fights with you. Nobody yells at you. Nobody shows you the middle finger. In fact, most people, when you cut them off, they have a face of, what? Like in awe, they're like, what the hell just cut me off? A Ford Bronco that's more rare than a Bugatti. Who would ever thought? You can customize this to the most ridiculous spec you want. When you were little, you draw cars, add extra wheels, put rocket launchers and stuff like that. That's essentially what this is, but the adult version. And I like that. They're not confined into the new social norm of making everything safe and electric and boring. This has personality, it has character. It sticks out from the crowd. Throughout this video, you'll notice that I don't go on the highway, I don't go high speeds. And that's because this car is very loud when you're inside. Between the road noise, the wheel noise, and also the exhaust is kind of droney. It doesn't really ruin the experience. It's just if you're looking for something more refined, then I think the Warlord is more of the apocalypse for you. The only difference between this one and let's say the Hellfire is this one is much more stiff. So it's actually a little bit more comfortable to drive, surprisingly. I really like the 6x6 and I find it very fun to drive. It has a lot of character. And the funny part is those who really know me probably are wondering, how the hell does Sebastian really like the 6x6? He loves sports cars, he loves racing cars. So the best way I can explain it to you is, you know those dads that always tell their kids, their whole family, no, we're not getting a dog, but somehow they force him, and then finally he gets the dog, and he's the one taking care of the dog, he loves the dog. This is my dog. Never thought I would want one, never thought I needed one, but I want one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the world's first 6x6 Bronco. Thanks for watching. I got wheels. Thank you to John for giving me extra footage. Here's his Instagram. Give him a follow, give him a like. I have to give a special thanks. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have made any of these Apocalypse videos and I'm truly grateful for it. Passion and Romeo, that's what it's all about.